unbelievable. As far as the eye can see, just jungle, jungle everywhere. I'm Albert Lin, engineer and National Geographic Explorer. And I'm passionate about the way new technology can help to reveal secrets of the ancient world. So we had this augmented reality platform built based off of the LiDAR data. And it should be able to tell us what's beyond the trees. You know, it says there's a massive temple just around the corner. Gosh, it's huge. Oh, it gives you like chills up your back. We just followed a map created by lasers in the sky and then bushwhacked for hours to this point to find this. This pyramid is just one of tens of thousands of new discoveries revealed by a new technology that's seen beneath this jungle canopy for the very first time. Allowing experts to create a treasure map of a lost world. It's like a magic trick. This is amazing. And it's transforming our understanding of one of history's most mysterious civilizations, the Maya. We see buildings aligned to track the rising of the sun or aligned to the movements of, of Venus. Cosmically aligned, like all Maya cities, every building in the heart of Tikal has been extensively mapped. But hidden in the jungle, it is never impossible to see it in all its glory. Until now. So this is the, the world famous Tikal. Yep, that's the way it looks now. Let's see Tikal naked. But oh, really now we've bad. done it. Now we see without the trees. This is amazing for Francisco and I because this is an iconic wow. Maya site. We know this map. We can close our eyes and, and visualize this map of, as we've seen it on paper since the 1960s. I feel like I'm there a thousand years ago and the people are still there and just walking around. After more than a century of study, archaeologists thought they knew every inch of Tikal. But they were wrong. You see that yeah. structure right there? The LiDAR reveals a previously unknown pyramid, hidden in plain sight, close to the very center of the city. That's got to set the entire archaeology community on a buzz. Mistakenly overlooked as a natural feature, the team thinks this could be an intact tomb of one of the richest Tikal kings. It's the most important discovery in central Tikal in decades. This is a cut in the floor. The Maya made this, presumably to place a burial here. There is a slight chance this might be a royal burial. It's definitely in, in a very prestigious location. For the Maya, burials within pyramids were reserved only for the most important people. And finding a royal tomb is incredibly rare. As Francisco's team searches for clues, out of the dust, something unexpectedly appears. We just came upon a plate that was face down. At first, it seems unremarkable. Then, Francisco turns it over. Looks like it's freshly painted. An offering. I am the first person, yes, to hold this in my hand after 1,400 years. It's a clue that there really might be an intact grave underneath. But a heavy slab of stone blocks their progress. 
Si ¿Sí quitamos esta primero. No, no va. Esta sí. Esta sí. Quitamos esa. No, no, Pero... Pues soltemos. Uh -huh. We don't want anything underneath to break. One wrong move now could be disastrous. It's nerve-wracking. All the signs point towards this being a high-status grave. But out here, human remains rarely survive the acidic limestone soil. There's more rocks. 